painting a red pepper butt outdoors with a cat with water soluble oils in Mission Viejo, California. Painting outside. Painting outside requires the subject, the cat, and the palette. In this case, a freshly picked red pepper, inspection by a project by resident cat Emmy, and of course the palette. For this project, I am painting with pigments cadmium red, the deep hue, lemon yellow, raw sienna, and cerulean blue hue. For painting outside, I use a Stay Wet palette and place my initial paints close together in order to mix as I go without them drying out. Water soluble oils thin down well for sketching and have great stability when used without diluting them. And every project, of course, needs a time place, paper, and a palette. I chose 2 to 3 p.m. in the afternoon and the, the, in the garden right after I had picked the pepper and placed it on the garden box. The paper I'm using is Arches 140 pound paper used for oil painting. Background I will do inside later after we get going. The palette and paint you see in this shot are leftovers from the previous painting of Emmy. I had quite a bit of paint left over when I finished Emmy's painting. After positioning the paint with pepper, I used leftover paint and created the background. I don't waste anything. Paint is far too expensive to lose even a tiny bit. I buy paint at the store we shall not name because they have sales and in order to purchase the best paint I have to buy it when the price has been slashed like 90% off. Day 2 as you see, I've put in the background using my leftover paint, and now I'm going to be adding the color to the subject. This is the fun part. This is day two, back outside with the pepper. Here's a close-up of the blending method I use. I paint on dry paper and build up the layers. Oils are great for blending, and they don't turn into chew chewing gum like acrylics. Drying time is a bit of a challenge, but the ability to relax into the colors is heavenly. Mandatory inspection time by Miss Emmy. Mixing blue, red, and yellow creates a fabulous brown for shadows on the bed. And now we've reached the end of our painting time, the shadows are getting long, and Emmy knows our light is changing, so we'll go inside to finish the painting. At the end of the painting, I added titanium white for the reflection on the pepper, and in the green of the leaves, that's the only place I use white. Be bold. Paint with color. Paint something today. Video is the complete creation of me, Lord of Art, Story Hinge Art. Featured materials are Windsor Newton water soluble oils, Arches paper, and Stay Wet palette. 
This was created December 30th, 2023 in Mission Viejo, California. Thank you for watching.